Good morning. Welcome to Manton's Worship at Christ Lutheran Church. We're at 1302 East Washington Street, and that's in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And I want everybody to know that they're welcome to come to any or all of the uh, worship services and any of the functions. We had a, uh, last Saturday, we had a showing of, uh, excuse me, all of a sudden, sneezing we had a um, showing of uh, Shadowlands which uh, is the story of C.S. Lewis and lots of people know C.S. Lewis he's a very popular author and um, really really interesting guy he really is and um, it was it was a really good movie and we are looking to do more of those kind of things uh, for the upcoming summer so uh by all means, please stay tuned. If um, we we keep all that information on our website and on our uh, social pages, so if uh, please check out our Facebook page. It's um, Christ Lutheran Church, um, Newcastle, Pennsylvania, and um, also, excuse me, uh, I'm trying to catch my breath here. My head's all messed up. Um, and uh, the website is um, Christ Lutheran dash or TAC for you military types dash Newcastle dot org. And uh, all, all you know, all the information, all the current information uh, should be in there. And um, we just want to remind you too that um, there is a tab in there if you are so moved to support the uh, the church the ministry here it would uh, be very very appreciated like everybody else we're still trying to kind of dig out and uh, get uh, get pulled together and uh, hopefully for the coming summer uh, we'll be uh, beginning a lot more organized in that area so um, your support would be really appreciated to, uh, to help us to to get there. Um, you know, needless to say, when you have when you pretty much live in hand to mouth, uh, yeah, it gets to be that's uh, the um, that's what you go by, and uh, kind of distracts from the, the real work of the church. And we certainly want to stay faithful to the real work of the church. Lots of good ministry going on. We want to we want to make sure that uh, we continue that uh, what we what has been started. There's been a lot of good stuff. All right, um, we use two resources. We use the Lutheran Service Book. If you have one, the Service for Matins is on page two one nine. We also use an accompaniment a recording of the uh, Concordia Seminary Choir. And both of those are produced by uh, Concordia Publishing House, and that's cph.org. And you should go in there, too, because lots of good devotional stuff, uh, lots of good gift stuff, lots of good uh, musical recordings, um, all kinds of stuff, uh, study stuff. Uh, the, the Lutheran Study Bible's in there, uh, which is just an outstanding uh, resource. Uh, some of my professors were uh, part of the um, part of the crew. I don't know uh, that uh, produced the uh, Lutheran Study Bible or uh, the Lutheran Study Bible, and um, it's very uh, it's really re pretty relatively current. I mean, those things kind of start to age as soon as they get out. It's like a use you know a new car, uh, but. Uh, it's in terms of the newest, in terms of the translation, it is um, attempted to be a very straightforward translation, uh, but still in readable English. Uh, and so it's, it is considered to be the, the most scholarly. So if you're looking for some a study Bible that is genuinely about study, uh, the study of the languages, the study of the culture, the study of the 
of the times, the history, the literature, all of that. Um, that the Lutheran Study Bible is, is definitely the best. Um, I'm, I've been plowing through mine for a while now, and uh, it's it's a really really great study. Lots of good material in there. So that's cph.org, cph.org, and go in there, check it out. Lots of great stuff. Uh, you'll you'll find it's uh, very very interesting. It's uh, very helpful. You'll see a lot of stuff in there that. Uh, you can keep for your own devotions, and there's a lot of stuff in there that would make great gifts. It's I realize it's that time of year where it kind of slows down mercifully, and uh, and that's a good thing. I'm not complaining about it, uh, but I'm just uh, hey, you can still give gifts, especially to someone that uh, you know kind of maybe needs a bump or maybe needs a little uh, encouragement to. Uh, either start or grow in Christian life and go through there, look through it. And um, there's, uh, I'll bet you anything, there's something in there and you go, oh, you know what? Stan could use that and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to get it. I'm going to have it sent to him and be surprised and uh, hope, uh, you know, encourage him to use it. And um, my, my, uh, Cross is from cph.org, and um, it's called a pectoral cross. These are pectoral muscles, and it uh, it's a larger cross. It's it's for ceremonial versus you know smaller crosses that are for just you know personal. You really don't wear a pectoral cross on a regular shirt because it looks a little. Looks a little medieval, I think, you know. But anyways, again, we're at 1302 East Washington Street, and that's in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. We will have Christian education at 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. Everybody's welcome to that. Different groups from youths to uh, adults, and they will be meeting to do Bible studies. And at 10.30 um, there will be our, our regular worship. So, you know, if you're in the area, you get two and a half hours to, uh, to come down. It, it would be great if you came down early. That way you, we can help you get a little oriented, a little comfortable, you know, get uh, get snuggled in and um, help to um, help to just let you know what's going on, give you a little idea. Lutheran service, uh, is uh, is different. It's it's genuine. It's liturgical worship. It's not dancing around with party hats and making making uh, paper. You know, whatever. It's it's not. It's genuine worship. And and the, and this is worship that survived almost 2,000 years, probably this type of liturgical worship probably dates back to sometime around 300 A.D. So somewhere in the area, about 1,700, 1,800 years that this has been around. And it is very common worship around the world. Americans seem to have this odd idea that the Christian church is all about what it is in America, and it's it's simply not. Um there are far more Christians that uh, in the world that believe in the uh, genuine presence of uh, Jesus in the um, in the communion elements. Uh, there are far more Christians in the world that believe that baptism is when you have that born again experience, when you have become a child of God, and. Uh, other of the liturgical, you know, conventional worship. Far more people in the world uh, do that than uh, do the dancing around or <laughs> uh, parading down the aisle to accept Jesus. Uh, I, I don't even understand how people cannot understand how prideful that is. Uh, I mean, talk about hubris. Uh, Jesus, Jesus chooses you. And that's a good thing because you know why? If I do it, 
somehow it's probably going to get messed up. Jesus does it. It's a lock. It's a done deal. And you, you are saved in Jesus here. And that is what we hope you really take home and uh, come to understand in your relationship with Jesus and his church. You're saved through his church. There's no other way to be saved. Sorry. You know, I, like peop I know in today's world, people like to create their own reality. It's going to kill you. You know, it really is. It's going to... It's going to create some some situation that's uh, going to end up killing, and it's not going to be good. Um, best thing to do is is to come to worship, where we receive at worship uh, forgiveness of our sins. We know we're forgiven. It's not a question of the guy up there with a guitar and a stool with a you know ragged jeans and a t-shirt and. I don't even know what that is. I don't even get that. Uh, it's 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 a genuine question of and, and people. Oh, my pastor doesn't wear robes. The robes are here for a reason. My pastor doesn't wear blue jeans on a on an altar. It's not a stage. It's an altar. Okay, that's where we come before Jesus. Um, robes are there for a reason. You don't want to look at somebody and and think, oh, well, that's just that's just Billy up there, you know, uh, talking talking Jesus stuff. No, the robes are meant to give you that idea, that understanding that you are looking at Jesus. Okay, no, I don't think I'm Jesus, but what the robes are intended to do with the various parts of it is to take you out of the mindset that you're looking at me and put you into the mindset that you are, you know, at least thinking about Jesus, the different symbology on here. My, my wife made all my robes, or my, uh, these are called stoles, and um, there's a reason for these. And you see the tomb, the open tomb, right? the light shining from the inside of the tomb, which is supposed to be dark and closed. And then you see the uh, Lamb of God and see peace. And, of course, we know there's a halo around the Lamb indicating you know, the Lamb of God, which is Jesus. And those are the things that are most important, a resurrection life and the Lamb of God who was sacrificed in order to pay for our sins so there would be a resurrection so we would have eternal life those are the important things you know you don't hear about forgiveness of sins at uh, those places where they're just you know strum strumming a guitar and talking nice stuff and you know just and that's what it's all about it really is and you get a little too caught up in there was uh, this one guy, he, he recently uh, passed uh, on television. And, and he, he great Bible teacher. He really is. No no question about it. I got a lot listening to him. Uh, but uh, he always wore these rather expensive suits. I mean, you could tell these are not off the rack. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm, maybe it's shallow of me, but I kind of get caught up in checking out his suit and his uh, shirt and tie and shoes and uh, which were all perfect. And, uh, you know, in the real world of being pastors, that's, that's not perfect. You know, you, you just, yeah, you, you need, there's just, there's just too much to do, too much important stuff. And unfortunately you get people in the church who kind of get caught up in the fussy stuff and, that's not what church is about. Church is about reaching uh, the lost. Church is about making disciples. Church is about uh, lifting up those in the church uh, in order to grow in Christ. And if you're not doing that, then the other stuff is just a uh, wasted effort. It's not, uh, it's not going to do any good. And um, you can have a perfectly sparkly clean church, but if you're not making disciples, that's what Jesus said. They'll go therefore and make disciples in all the world, uh, baptizing in the name of the Holy Spirit. That's what's called the Great Commission. 
that's what we're called to do, not sit around a nice, uh, cozy little church and make sure everything's all neat and clean. And, you know, you, you see people like that and you really kind of wonder, are you really doing what you're supposed to be doing? <laughs> or are you spend your way too much time fussing uh, about your, your, uh, your surroundings? <clears throat> so anyways, uh, again, um, our next worship will be at 1030. And so if you're in the area, really encourage you to check it out. Come come and see um, what it's about. And any questions, any comments, by all means, message me. Um, <clears throat> we do live stream it. If you can't be here, um, send us your email. Send me your email. Put it, Message me your email. I will put that on the distribution list for the... Um, for the uh, uh, for the chart for the worship service for the order of worship and the service and that way while you're watching it while, while live streaming it you can follow what I'm doing what we're doing here in terms of worship. All right, we make our beginning in the name of God the Father and name of God the Son and name of God the Holy Spirit. We make the sign of the cross first to remember our baptism. Our baptism is when we were born again. That is when we became a son or daughter of, of God. It's only two, a son or a daughter. <laughs> Next, yes, that is the only way uh, to be a child of God. We're all creations of God, no question about it. But until you were born again, just as Jesus told Nicodemus, you have to be born in the spirit that, and, and not your decision or marching down the aisle or any of that stuff, it's uh, what Jesus, what what the Holy Spirit does to move you to, to be baptized, to be born again. We make the sign of the cross also to remember that his sins are nailed to the cross, that Jesus suffered and died on the cross, that Jesus paid the penalty of our sins so that we are completely righteous in the presence of God. Does that mean we're without sin? No, we have sin. Bible acknowledges that a few times throughout. None are righteous, no, not one. That, that quote's in there three times. Um, we're not righteous, and we need to continually come to be in the presence of the Lord in order to be uh, forgiven, because that is a big part of what we do, not just forgiven, but to learn and grow. And we thank Jesus that he did suffer and die to pay the penalty of our sins so that we would be uh, righteous in God's presence. Make the sign of the cross also uh, to remember that we are in communion with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right, again, we're on page 219 of the Lutheran Service Book. And just so you know, uh, we're in the season of Easter, all right? Easter season follows Easter Day. Uh, what I will be uh, reciting uh, from the order of worship and that will be a little different than what you might hear on the recording so that's why it is it's a, it's a lyrics for a um, <coughs> different church season all right again page 219 O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. The Lord is risen from indeed. Alleluia. Oh, come, let us worship Him. 
Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all God. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his for he made it. And is hand for the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Savior. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pastures, the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Oh, come, let us worship Him. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. These things are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd who does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming, leaves the sheep and flees and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and he cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd for this reason. The Father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We are on page 222, the Easter response. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Give to the Lord all glory and strength. Give him the honor to his name. Hallelujah. Alleluia. Now is Christ risen from the dead. 
and become the first fruits of them that sleep. Give to the Lord all glory and strength. Give him the honor to his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Give to the Lord all glory and strength. <clears throat> Give him the honor to his name. Alleluia, Alleluia. Page 223 to the end. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. All the earth now worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, cry aloud. The heavens and all the powers therein. Do you, cherubim and seraphim, continually to cry? Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath, all of martyrs praise you. The Holy Church throughout all the world does acknowledge you. The Father of an infinite majesty, your adorable, true, and only Son. Also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. You are the King of glory, O Christ. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. We therefore pray you to help your servant whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Make them to be numbered <coughs> saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save your people and bless your heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify you. And we worship your name forever and ever. Grant, O oh Lord, to keep us this day with our own sin. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O oh Lord, let your mercy be upon us, as our trust is in you. O oh Lord, in you have I trusted, let me never be confounded. Page 227, Pierre. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father who art in Hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against and lead us into temptation but deliver us from me for thine is thy kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be with you all. Amen. This has been Matt's Worship at Christ Lutheran Church. We're at 1302 East Washington Street. And that is in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And our next worship will be at 1030. So you have two hours and one minute. You have two hours, exactly. So if you're in the area, come on, check it out. Um, be happy to talk to you. Uh, any question, anything that... Uh, you need help on anything you're going through in your life. You know, it's what we're here for. Uh, we will also have a healing service uh, after worship. So if you're interested in that, um, you know, just make sure you're here. Um, you know, sometimes we get people as part of that, and other times, um, you know, we don't. So, um, but uh, it's not weird or anything. It's it's a very nice service. So, prayer and uh, uh, chanting to um, ask for healing uh, for the, the persons that uh, that show up. And those are the kind of things we want to do in order to serve. And so whatever it is that uh, you'd like to talk about or whatever it is, whatever physical issue there is, or, you know, it can even be an issue of things that you're just dealing with, you know, the, the stress of life, right? Um, you know, by all means, feel free to uh, uh, to stay for that a after worship, and uh, like to have you either, both, or all, and um, get to meet you. All right, now go and serve the Lord till all have heard. Thanks be to God. Amen.